Hey there, John uh, from B2Web, and uh, taking a look at uh, Backcountry Child Theme by Studio Press today. And we'll start with just uh, looking at the homepage features. Uh, at the top, we have a uh, nav bar, and then we have another nav bar here. You don't have to use uh, either of them, or you can choose to just use one of them, and that's easily done in the uh, theme settings. And as we have a really nice large uh, slider right here that if you click it goes into a featured post. So this right now is set up as featured post number two. You would of course title that something differently. Uh, now the home page is structured with a variety of widget sections. This where the slide show is presenting is a widget section. You don't have to put a slideshow there. You can put something else. Uh, and then down here we have, uh, we'll, I'll call it a widget zone one, widget zone two, and a widget zone three down here. This uh, on the sidebar here is actually the sidebar. Some Studio Press child themes for the home page will have actual uh, other widget zones on the home page and then a sidebar for inner pages, but in this case it's actually a sidebar. And scrolling down we have a, fit, a footer, two footers actually. We have this widget uh, zone footer. There's actually four widget zones and then below that is the hard footer. This uh, theme is interesting in that it could be used for a business website, a magazines type website, or a blog. So it's very versatile, has a pretty clean look to it, has a, uh, instead of a lot of slideshows will have uh, the, the large image show maybe two thirds of it and then an area for some text uh, either on the left or on the right. But in this case it's a, a large prominent image. If we go into uh, you could check out the different theme colors here. I'm not sure if they're even changing really. There we go, that, that one changed, that's green. It doesn't change a whole lot, it changes a few elements, changes uh, the hyperlinks and all that, but essentially the theme remains quite similar in style, so that the color scheme don't, doesn't change a whole lot. If you're going to do any radical changes, you're going to have to know some CSS and do it in the CSS style sheet. Um, I think one of the real advantages of Studio Press uh, themes is that they look really great as is. I seldom do a lot of changes to them. I, of course, uh, for a lot of them, will customize the logo, but even then, not always uh, do I do that. So let's go back to the, uh, the dashboard and take a look at the back-end features. Here we are, and uh, installing this is really simple. You just go to uh, themes, and you want to ensure that you install the Genesis. Where is it? I got a lot of themes on here. Genesis first, and then go ahead and install through the install tab right here at the top, um, the Backcountry. So make sure you get Genesis on there, then you put Backcountry. If you want to swap out a uh, child theme, it's easy to do. If you don't like Backcountry, try something else. Well, one of the Studio Press child themes, that is, you don't want to use a child theme from a different framework, unless it's been specifically uh, decided, uh, designed to, to work on here. So once you have that installed, I always go to the Genesis theme settings here, and it, it's a pretty basic page. You can uh, choose your color styles here, just with a menu like that. Always make sure you save your changes. There's a save button right at the top. And layouts, six layouts, content sidebar, sidebar content, content sidebar, 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 sidebar content, and sidebar content sidebar and full width. That's nice. Here are your uh, navigation. So if you want both of them uh, activated, both of those horizontal navigation bars, you check there. If you want to just have the primary, just check like that and it gets rid of one of them. You can uh, activate breadcrumbs or uncheck everything and they'll be turned off. Same with your comments and trackbacks. You can format how your archive uh, pages uh, display so you can limit the characters or you can display uh, the full blog posts and these would be for your blog archive pages. And you can uh, dictate your blog page with uh, any particular categories that you want to display, exclude categories, and, and that way you can customize how your actual blog page uh, will display. And you can include any scripts in the header or the footer, like example here, Google Analytics is a place that I put it in the header box there. The next uh, section, uh, m most of your, um, not most, all of your uh, menu navigation is going to be set out in the uh, 
custom menus, which is a WordPress feature, it's not a Studio Press, but you're going to choose your primary navigation and secondary navigation bar here by just creating your menus and then applying whichever menu you want to your particular navigation. You can create other menu bars and then put them in the, uh, uh, they're not really bars, or create menus and put them in your sidebar uh, throughout your website. You can also place them in the widget zones on the home page. So the uh, widget panel is where you're going to see the really set up your home page. So we have the header right, which I didn't mention. It's right up here. It's hard to see. It's uh, got a little place for a banner ad if you want to put that. But you can put like a search box there or something else, uh, whatever you want. And primary sidebar, that's the sidebar that shows up on all the pages plus the home page. Secondary is if you go with the three column layout, that'll be the secondary sidebar. Home top is where your uh, side uh, slider or slideshow will appear. Uh, like I said, because it's a widget zone, you don't have to put the slideshow in there. You can put uh, anything you want in there. You can put text, you can put images, whatever you want. Home left, home right are the split two right here, featured one, featured two, so you have your two widget zones there. And your uh, home bottom is the larger, wider widget zone underneath that. You ha can have uh, place ads uh, after your posts right here. And then the four widget zoned footer, and you can put whatever you want in there. Now, do you have to use all the widgets? No, you don't. You can just leave them blank and then it won't have any content in there. Sometimes it's a little bit buggy. I found with some sites, I don't always use every widget zone. Particularly, I don't always use the foot, footer widgets. Um, I find sometimes I get the, this default uh, text that StudioPress has in there. It, the easy fix for that is just throw in a text widget in there and leave a blank. And then it'll just leave the whole widget zone blank. Uh, moving on to our background, you can change the background on this theme if you like. You can upload your own, you can change the color right there. So um, that makes it easy. You don't have to go to CSS uh, style sheet and upload images through your web server for that. Same with your header. You can upload different headers if you like. If you're going to do any um, serious uh, header size changes, you can see that through this panel it has to be the uh, default size. If you're going to change the size, you're going to have to go into CSS style sheet, change the header size there, uh, and then it will fit uh, here. So just so you know, you don't bang your head against the wall trying to figure out why it's not displaying correctly. Lastly, I will uh, cover that how to put in the slideshow or the slider. What you need to get is you need to go to um, add a plugin. It's called the Genesis Slider. It's free. Just uh, add that in there. And once you have that, uh, you can go to go under Genesis. All your Genesis plugins are going to show up here, the slider settings. And you can uh, basically set up all the settings of how your slider will present. You can pull posts or pages. Uh, you can you can dictate exactly how which which posts or pages are going to display with that uh, slider. Number of slides to show. I'm not going to go through everything here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Play around with it. Um, how long a slide uh, displays. You can dictate the the transition, which which is kind of cool. It's, um, width and height. Uh, you can try different uh, sizes if you like, uh, but just make sure that your images um, coordinate. You want your images to be the exact size of, of the slider the size that you have chosen here, otherwise it won't display very well. Lots of options you can see. It's uh, it's a pretty good slider. I like it. There are others that I've used. I also like the, the WP Cycle. Um, that's probably my second favorite. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Try them both, see what you like. Once you've uh, configured your actual slider and the images and everything else about it, then what you do is you go to the widget panel and we'll go to the home top, which is where the slider appears, and there's a, wid a Genesis slider widget. And you just take that and you put it in there. And you can title it if you want and save it and it will display your slideshow. Uh, my only 
sort of criticism of the whole Genesis slider is you can only create one. Um, some sliders out there, uh, WP Cycle has the same limitation, but there's a V slider plugin and it's free and you can actually create as many slideshows as you want, which is kind of cool because it uses short codes and you input the short codes like in a post or a uh, page and then you can have slideshows in, mo in more places. So you can create different slideshows to put throughout your website. But if you just want to have one slideshow for the home page, uh, the Genesis slider works really well. So uh, that wraps up uh, my uh, backcountry child theme. Uh, review here via video. I uh, have a and uh, hope you found it helpful. It's a nice looking theme. I'm biased though. I'm, I'm a Studio Press member and uh, a real fan of their work.